Hi, welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. Today I want to illustrate another use of the Solver Gold Sea feature in Excel. Now, in a previous podcast, number eight, uh, we created a template that you see here for finding the future value of an ordinary annuity. Uh, you can see the formula we've entered into here. Now, today the question I want to look at is how much should I place into an account if I wanted to accumulate, say, a million dollars in 20 years, if I know what the account pays, supposing this was some sort of retirement account and I'm going to make monthly contributions. Uh, all right, so what we need to do is to first let's just put in the parameters we know. Okay, so 20 years, that's going to be a total of 240 months. And we should change our interest rate here to 6%, 0.06. Clean it up a little bit. Let's right, see what the value is. All right, now how do we go and use the solver on this? Well, solver is listed under tools, remember. And, well, there it is. It's a uh, little solver dialog box here now what's our target cell going to be well that's the one we want to set equal to a million dollars so that'll be the future value cell down here we want to make sure we don't we want to change this to the value of here and not set it to one of the other parameters and here we want to put in a million all right <clears throat> now we want to what are we looking for? Well, we want to change the deposit amount in order to accumulate this amount. So uh, let's just put this in as the cell B5. Okay, so that's our uh, setup there, and let's just tell it to saw. And it gives us something. I have to change the column width a little bit. <clears throat> well, let's see. Well, $2,100 a month, that's, that's a lot. Hmm. Well, maybe what we should do is to take a look and change the rate here. 6% is awfully, awfully conservative. Let's go, say, for 9%. See what that would uh, would do for us. Okay, now what we have to do is to go through and uh, run the solver again. The parameters should already be set up correctly. So we'll just dump the solve. Uh, 1400 well, that's $1,500 a month. If you get two paychecks a month, that's about $750 a month. Uh, that's that's a doable thing. Uh, we could, if we stretch it out a little bit, maybe we could go and to change the total number of periods. Instead of 20 years, it would go to 30 years. So that would be 360 months. Okay. And well, so let's run the solver again. So the solver sets up properly, B11, and okay. Uh, oh, $546 a month. That's only a little about, that's less than $300 a paycheck. That, that's a doable thing. Okay, well, this illustrates um, the use of the solver. I could have just as well used the gold seat. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'll see you next time for another podcast.